What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. What we're going to be doing is working through the time frames. We're going to start out on the one week time frame and work our way down to the one hour time frame. Right now, Bitcoin's sitting at $40,927. We're up 3.56%. It's even crazy to say $40,000, guys. I mean, I've been through <laughs> throughout this whole market in the bear market, everything. We were charting at $3,000, $4,000. I mean, to say $40,000 for Bitcoin, $41,000 now for Bitcoin is absolutely outrageous. So this is incredible for the space. You can see a lot of institutional investor money has been coming into the space. Main thing that I wanted to point out to you here on the one-week time frame, the main overhead resistance area, we'd want a weekly camp. Candle close up above would be $34,683. It's going to be an area we're going to pay attention to. Now, as we're looking for this candle close here in the next couple days, I want you to pay attention on the one week time frame. The RSI is at 95. So if we do end up getting some type of retracement or cooling down period, we'd look down around that 34600 then it'd be down around that $27,987, we'll call it $28,000 would be the support areas that we'd be looking to. You can see we've had some wicks to the downside here, but it's basically been bought up fairly fast for Bitcoin. If we go into the three-day chart... We're just going to take a look at this as well. The RSI as well is at 95, guys. You know that 100, it's basically completely maxed out, overbought. So at some point, what I'm anticipating is people are going to take their Bitcoin profits. They're going to start moving them into Ethereum a little bit more, into the altcoins a little bit more. And we could see that nice swell of altcoins, that nice altcoin season that we've been looking for. Not saying it's going to happen today, but down the road here, we're getting many signs that it's approaching it's coming, so not financial advice. I would continue to build positions in the coins that you're really comfortable in the altcoins. I'm just putting that out there right now. So on the three-day time frame, you can see still nice strong candles have been moving in. We're going to have to wait to see where we end up closing on the three-day, but just pay attention to that relative strength index because a lot of smart investors, they will realize how overextended we are. They're going to take some profits. They're going to put them into the altcoins. Altcoins will pump. Bitcoin will either consolidate or cool down a little bit. And then once the altcoins have had their profits, most likely the money is going to go back into Bitcoin. It's kind of that back and forth seesaw action that you get because investors or traders, they're looking to see where the money might go next. If we get into the one day time frame, the RSI right now is at 90. You can see right here. Getting a little bit of a wick at the top, so a little bit of profit taking on the top there on the one day time frame. If we get into the 12 hour time frame, still on all these, we're up above our 20 EMA, our 50, our 100, and our 200. And I want to know down low do you believe altcoin season is coming? Are you going to continue to stay in Bitcoin? I'd love to hear your opinion on what you're doing, guys. Is this something that you'll keep some Bitcoin, but you're going to be taking some profits on Bitcoin and moving it into some of the altcoins? Are you fully in altcoins? I'd love to hear your opinion down low. So on the 12-hour time frame, we're getting a little bit of divergence here, negative divergence I want you to pay attention to. So our price was at around $35,000. The RSI at that point was roughly at about 90. You can see our prices went up, and the RSI is at 81. So we have a little bit of negative divergence there on the 12-hour time frame. If we get next into the 4-hour time frame, keep an eye on this as well. Still up above our 20, 50, 100, and 200. Really strong there. Our volatility stop on the four hour, they got you at $37,962. RSI is at 72 right now. And what's kind of been happening here in the shorter term, like from the one hour and the four hour, we're getting that cooling, quick cooling down period. And then the bulls have just been stepping back in. You can see when we have these dumps, they're really sharp, aggressive, and then the buyers have been stepping back in. When we had this dump back January 3rd, we were actually... We got all the way down to about 27,685, and that's after being up around 35,000. So just remember that we can lose five at the point where we're at five to ten thousand dollars very quickly on the price of Bitcoin, or obviously we can add it, you know, as as we're looking at this very quickly. So that's the thing, guys. You know, that's why we're in this space. It's the most volatile space in the world, and that's why I want to be a part of it. And that's why I love swing trading this space. And then you can also see here. Still same deal, a little bit of negative divergence on the one hour time frame price. We got up to around that 40,000. We ended up having the RSI at around 80. Now we're pushing up higher in terms of the price. We got a lot of short day candles. We have some doji candles up at the top here. And then the RSI is sitting at about 62. So what I'd say is shorter term, we may cool down a little bit more, but longer term guys, I mean, this is where, you know, if you're a longer term investor in Bitcoin, not financial advice, this is where you just, you know, you deal with the 20, 30, 40% corrections. You add if you're able to add when you see those big dips and you just let this keep riding out.
that's what you want to do. Just let it keep riding out. If you're a swing trader, you know, a lot of people are looking at this $40,000 saying, hey, maybe it's time to take a little bit of profit. We're so overextended. And then let's go look at some altcoins that we have confidence in. So I'm just telling you, that's what a lot of people, in my opinion, who understand trading and technical analysis and all that, they're going to be looking for that situation coming up here. It may not start for another day or two, maybe even a week, but it's going to happen where some of that money from Bitcoin starts moving into the altcoins. Okay, if we get into the technicals for Bitcoin, and we're going to do all the way from the one week. So on the one week, we have a two sell, seven neutral, and a 19 buy. Moving average is still looking great there. Oscillators, two sell, six neutral, and a three buy. And you can see the relative strength was a sell there. On the one day time frame, we have a four sell, five neutral, and a 19 buy. Oscillators, here's where we're cooling down a little bit. Four sell, four neutral, and a three buy. On the four hour time frame, we're looking at a four cell, five neutral, 19 buy, oscillators, three cell, four neutral, and a four buy. And you can see our relative strength is a cell, stocks neutral, commodities a cell. We have Williams a cell, and then we have quite a few buys in there as well. But you know, guys, in this space, when you're listening to people, I just want to be honest with you. When you're listening to people out there and they're telling you Bitcoin to a million or whatever, take the price action day by day. I know it's a big endorphin rush and everybody wants to hear that type of stuff, but you have to be realistic and there's going to be, you know, profit that's taken throughout the course of this. I mean, you can see even this last correction that we had here, we went from 34,000, we wicked all the way down to 27,000. And that's one we were looking at here, but you can see up here 40,000. We ended up going down to 36,000. So you can have these big thousand, you know, several thousand dollar swings. And that's what I like to try to take advantage of. That's just my opinion. But you know, guys, you're blessed to be in this space. We've talked about it. It's awesome to be here. Just pay attention on the shorter term. A little bit of negative divergence there. Longer term. Got a lot of great stuff working for us for Bitcoin here. So if you get some from these videos, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless each and every one of you and have a plan, my friends.